Yeah. What's good guys? Good morning. Um, a new day. It's Tuesday. Yesterday was Monday and the thrift was closed so we didn't get to go. Um, but yeah, we're ready right now. Got ready. Fit check. Got the beanie on. Grateful Dead. Uh, forgot what the back is, but it's a tour to you. Hold up. You see it? I think it's the outer ones or something like that. Then I got the short shorts on. The Chicago Bulls with the distressed second layer. Uh, like always, Nike socks. Um, but yeah, getting ready right now. Excited to go to the thrift because we missed one day. But yeah, so we're starting off the morning. Ate a little bit of breakfast. Got some water. Stay hydrated. Starting to get hot. Um, lock this door. But yeah, let's head to the thrift. It's good! North Face. XL. $12.99. Might be a scoop. It looks kind of orange. Oh, that looks kind of orange. Might scoop this. $12.99. We'll see. You see it. Supreme. Size medium. This is the... Here. I'll just show you this part. Album design. Limonious. That's all I'm going to show you. Because I don't think I show the rest. I might get a strike from YouTube. So, just look it up. <laughs> $14.99, Supreme in the thrift. Yeah, 2004, Scarface. Say hello to my little friend on the Delta tag. That's me $8, still gonna scoop, oversized, nice fit. And this is crazy right here. I actually didn't know what this was. But it was single stitch, so I just decided to look it up. They're only asking for a dollar, 99 cents, made in France. 1994, Roland. Garros. Crazy. I guess he's like an artist. I think it's like tennis. He might be like throwing the ball up right there before he hits it. Something like that. But 1994. Crazy. Jordan 3 is right here. Size 11. Pretty beat in the back, but still. Uh, there's no senior prices. It's all like the same. Yeah, everyone has the same deal. It's been like that. We got some TNs right here in the size 9. I asked him for $8, but they're pretty messed up. Nice pair though. If it was my size, I probably would have scooped it. Size 9 though. Couple things. Rich or poor, $8. Basic gray sweats, single pocket. Champion jersey. I haven't found one in a while. For seven, six bucks, you know what it is. David Robinson, crazy. And then right here, this is a bootleg, I'm pretty sure. Season six, Yeezy, YKK zippers, some joggers, size XL, $13. I'm still gonna scoop even though they're asking for 13 and it probably is a bootleg. Still gonna scoop it. Fire. Crazy poster, man. You already know where this is going. Straight into the shop, baby. Yo, it was good, guys. Got off work and I decided to pop into um, Salvation Army where I found those four CB2 chairs. Look what I just found. This is why I recommend you guys educate yourselves and know more than just clothes. Um, this is a room and board leather chair not 100 percent sure what it goes for just yet but this is like full-on leather you can look up the brand room and board and you'll see how much these things go for i don't even need to explain um but yeah it's cost 30 bucks so i'm scooping this for sure some camo joggers by dope They're asking for way too much size large if they want tax in order to scoop Vintage Laker tee. Folded, but it's on the same tag. $8, single stitch, only on the back. And then this Vintage Pistons beanie. It's a dollar. Might squeak. Some Air Max 97s. Size 10. Nothing crazy. These go for like 80. Brand new. The taxi. $20. Vintage Nike, $2.99, size, size large, mock neck, 
it's their first championship, oh one. The homie found that. No, it's all good. You can show it. <laughs> Lakers, 2010 champions. Shit, DVD. Pretty crazy. Okay, chairs in the apartment now. The boo boo is actually wiping it down with the leather cleaner. And what? What? Yo. So the person at the, don't mind the white beater. So the person at the Salvation Army actually was like, yo, you know there's one more in the front? I was like, what? Okay, uh, let me go check that out. And it's actually a different color. It's a different red, um, but this one's like a more, here, let me find the white for you guys. This one's like a red, red, see it? And then this one is more, like maroon but the leather's different like this is like smooth leather and then the other one's more like a basketball type leather but regardless we paid 22 dollars for each chair so it's gonna be good little flip let's go yeah let's go guys dude the weather has been hot hot my hair's getting long so don't mind the hair sticking out but I wanted to show you guys something um, that I actually didn't get to show you guys. I'm going to show you the other stuff too. But right here, I have a clip of it on my Instagram if you want to see it. But these are crazy. I found these. Let that clear up. I found these for $14.99. Um, they were a size 11 and they came out with these at the same time. Um, crazy story about these. So... Um, let me tell you guys first. So these right here, I don't know why. Um, if you do know, uh, put in the comment se section section why. But these go for like three something on StockX, and I don't know why this colorway does, but it does. And so it's crazy. I threw this in the washing machine. I had the little like shoe bag or whatever. Um, left the laces on, threw it in, and just left it outside to dry. Uh, you can see it right there at the bottom. Actually, it says 15 Y. Cause I got it for $14.99. I just was in a rush because the line was super long. Um, these right here don't have the laces on them. I barely did like a little wipe down. So it's crazy how clean these actually are. Um, size 11 as well. These are from 2010, which is crazy. These are 10 years old. So insane shoe um, to be in this condition is crazy. Uh, so the story behind these is I was actually in line already paying for some of the stuff that I found Including these and I was paying and then the homie from the thrift was like yo Aaron Did you see these and I was like, oh shoot? I did I did not see them um, And then he was like yeah, they're size 11 blah blah blah. They're asking for um, I think it was yeah on the, on the bottom right there. You see it. They're asking for 35 um, And they were my size. So I was like yo if you're not gonna get these um, I'll scoop them He's like, yeah, take them if you want them. Um, so I was hyped because I got basically two pairs of shoes for 50 bucks at the thrift. Testing a little bit, but I mean, super steel. Um, but yeah, they're both in my size, so I'm definitely going to keep these in the personal. Um, my shoe collection from the thrift is actually growing, and I have a very fire amount of kicks. Um, this is the Supreme Tee that I did find. Uh, I can't show you the back, like I said, but you can see right there says Supreme, it's the undercover, I think, Supreme Tea, undercover Limonious, L-I-M-O-N-I-O-U-S, uh, you can look that up, but this one right here, this is crazy, uh, this is a tag from Goodwill, so the Goodwill uh, down the street actually opened up uh, three days ago, four days ago now, and the boo-boo, I'm at work, I'm cutting hair, and I get a text and I see a picture of a green, green, of a pink sweater. And I'm like, what? No way. Look what she sent me. She found this in the women's section, size XL. And I was like, okay, that might be a reprint, whatever. Send me a picture of the tag. And you see it right there. Fruit of the Loom, made in USA, size XL. So this is crazy um it's in my size too because you know i like to wear stuff a little bit oversized sometimes a lot oversized um but yeah xl fruit of the loom crazy find uh the boo-boos came across maybe like only three or four pieces um 
that were like in my realm of clothing, like the vintage stuff or like the hype stuff. Um, but if there's any ladies watching my channel, um, I will link the Boo Boo's Poshmark to the bottom. Uh, she's been killing it actually. She's been selling pretty heavily on there. Um, so I'm happy for her on that. Um, but these are just some of the pickups. Um, I have some other stuff, but it's in the washing machine. Uh, but something I wanted to talk to you guys about is Venmo. Um, so over quarantine, I actually got scammed. I was reselling uh, the Nintendo Switches. Like the big one, like the neon one or like the gray one, which was the V2. Um, I basically knew when they were gonna, um, like what stores were gonna get them, like which targets, and then I would know exactly how many they were gonna get. So I'd pull up, get in line at like 6 45, 7, and then open up at 8. And the retail plus tax was coming out to like 3 30, um, and I was flipping them for 420 to 450 each. I sold 30 of them over quarantine. Uh, that was pretty much my hustle. Just going to Target, throwing the switch on offer up and flipping it. Um, but yeah, so the thing with Venmo is what I didn't know is that there is no seller or buyer's protection from Venmo. So basically, yeah, I was flipping Nintendo Switches. Um, I was making about $100 off of each of them. Um, and I flipped 30 of them. My 29th one. For every transaction, I've just been selling them on Venmo and I was never getting any like problems. It was either Venmo, Zelle, sometimes cash. Um, but yeah, so I was flipping those and my 29th Nintendo Switch. This guy hits me up on offer up, says, hey, I'm interested. Um, can I pick up? Not even negotiating, nothing. And I was like, okay, normally they'll shoot you like a low ball offer and then try to work their way up just a little bit. So he shoots me the, um, the offer um, of the full price, which I put that one up for, I think 430. And he asked me to text him. So I text him, uh, we coordinate, and he goes, can I come at two o'clock, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, yeah, sure. And then he asked me if he could pay with Venmo. Excuse me. Um, and I thought nothing of it, because I've been using Venmo the whole time. So I was like, yeah, of course. So I give him my Venmo and I don't expect him to send the money over before coming to me, but he sends me the money at like maybe 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, and he's supposed to meet me at two. So I text him, I'm like, yo, you didn't need to send that money um, right away. You can come here, check out the product, and then pay for it after, as I did with every single other Nintendo Switch that I did. So he pulls up and I give him the Nintendo Switch here. I, I already got the payment, so I was like, okay, cool. Um, and then I go back in the house, I go into the bathroom, and I kind of peek out the window just to see what he's gonna do, because it kind of threw me off. I was like, why would a guy just send $430 to a person that he doesn't even know? He sent it to me, and I was just like, okay, this person either trusts everyone in the world, it's just a good person, or he just ball and real and really didn't care. So he just sent me the $430. So I thought nothing of it because the money was already in my account. And I even started the transfer once he picked up the Nintendo Switch. So basically, he sends me the money and I think nothing of it. Um, I give him the Nintendo Switch. And if you know Venmo, there is a percentage that they take if you want to um, transfer the money to your bank account instantly, which is 1%. But if, you were, if you're cool with the one to three day wait, there's no fee, which I recommend doing that because there's no point in taking the money and them taking 1%. Um, yeah, so I started to transfer the one to three day one. I did not do the instant one. And so going back to when I met up with him, after I gave him the switch, I went to the restroom and I peeked outside the window just to see what he was doing. And he's in the middle of the street and he's not moving. And I'm like, like what is this guy doing? And I just think to myself, okay, he's either in the car checking on the Nintendo Switch, which why wouldn't you look at it before leaving me or paying me? And, on, and then on the other hand, I'm thinking, okay, is he doing something on his phone, like trying to do something sketchy? And I thought, oh, what, what's the worst that could happen? The money's already in my Venmo and I started the transfer. 
So I just get this weird feeling and then the next morning, it's like 7 a.m. I wake up and check my email and I get an email from Venmo and it's a dispute for $430. Um, I forgot what he said, but there was literally nothing I could do because he just filed a dispute saying it was just um, like an accident or whatever. And Venmo, since there's no buyer or seller protection, he instantly gets that money back, even if I were to try and fight it. Even if it was already in my bank account, it would actually take it from your bank account and then send it back to him. So I literally could do nothing. I was just out of luck and he got me for technically $330 but $430 because I could have flipped it. Um, but yeah, he got me for the $430, he got it back and then he also got the Nintendo Switch and there's nothing I could do. I checked the screenshot of his phone when he asked me, is this you? Which was my Venmo and then I realized that at the top left corner it actually said, um, there was like the no signal like it was an actual phone he was just using the wi-fi so he could um text me or send messages through offer up so he didn't actually have a phone line i could reach him from on that phone um so there's nothing i could do i mean i kind of just took my loss i texted him just hoping he would respond obviously he didn't respond um but yeah so he got me for the technically 430 dollars he got the nintendo switch and now I have none of it. Um, I was a little upset and I was like, man, I should have kind of read into it more before doing transactions like that. But like I said, this was my 29th Nintendo Switch that I flipped. So I thought nothing of it. Every Venmo went fine. Everything went smooth up until that one. Um, so I wasn't too mad because I was like, okay, I kind of made a killing off of it already. Um, so I can't be too greedy. Well, it's not really being greedy. I just basically I got scammed. So I just want to share that with you guys. Just be careful when you use Venmo because I know people sell stuff using Venmo all the time, whether it's stuff on offer up for like furniture or um, making a sneaker transaction or clothing or whatever. Um, so yeah, just be careful. Um, I'm not saying all people are going to scam you if they do use Venmo, um, but I guess maybe the safer route would be cash or. PayPal and actually do like an invoice um, but yeah I know I don't always talk this much on here but I figured I just had to share this with you guys because I don't want you guys to get scammed as well but yeah so I just want to share that with you guys so you guys do not get scammed and just be aware of what can happen if you're using Venmo for any type of transaction um, but yeah so tomorrow this will be another thrift day and then that'll be it for this video so Let's get into tomorrow. Let's go! This is actually my first time ever finding this. A little tax on 25, but I have to pick it up. You can feel this. Super buttery. Seems like it's in like brand new condition. No flaws. Then I found these two right here. Garfield tees. Both uh, size double XL. This one might be three. Uh, no, they're both double XL. I found, you can see right there the tag, vintage Nike, five dollars, with a little patch right there, five. Blue leg bait hoodie, asking for 25. With the crystals on it? It's actually not a bad price, I actually thought that'd be way higher even though it is a blue leg. Green box logo on the Gildan? <laughs> Nike Dunks, 2007 I believe. Those stains on the plastic are crazy. They're asking only for $8, but these really don't go for much. Like good condition probably goes for like $30, $40. But yeah, so I might just leave these. Yeah. Good morning guys, it is the morning. <laughs> um, something that uh, I've been working on, my bad, I'm like half asleep, so. Uh, something I've been working on, um, just in relation to the uh, NBA coming Baby! <laughs> okay. <laughs> like I said. Good morning, guys. I just want to share with you guys before uh, me and the boo-boo head to the thrift, something I was working on um, in relation to the NBA coming back. Uh, if you'd like to make a purchase, it'd be much appreciated. Uh, you could do it on my Instagram. The link is there. 
and I'll link it down below in the comments if you want to cop. Um, but I had some hats made, and if you know, you know that the NBA this year, when they um, come back, is called the bubble. It's called the bubble right now, is because all the players were there for like a couple days, and they had to be quarantined before they could start the basically the rest of the season. Um, super hyped that it's finally back, and uh, as you know, barbershops in California at least in LA County and I think 29 total counties um, got shut down again. So this is the second time this happened. Um, so I'm just trying to spread, you know, creativity when I can, even though um, times can be tough or annoying that we can't work. Um, but yeah, I just wanna show appreciation to y'all and just come out with something. So this is the hat, I made hats, and let me show you them right now. Don't mind the loud noise in the back because it's the laundry. You see it right here, it's got the A's logo upside down. They are gonna be trucker hats. Um, you can see right there, the bubble. Literally just one single bubble. And this, obviously if you've been following me, you know this is the logo for my barbershop. You see the clipper right there at the top. And we're called A's. So I made four colorways. We got the blue one right here. Obviously it's gonna be like the LA teams of uh, and then we got the blue one right here. It's obviously going to be like the LA teams. This is obviously the Clippers. And then here's another one right here. It's flipped. It's got the purple with the yellow A's bubble. I'm so hyped to release these. And right here is the Charlotte Hornets colorway. Obviously a very fire color combination, especially in the thrifts. Um, but yeah, this is in that grape colorway. Hyped about this one. This one's crazy. And lastly, here's the combos. And what? I don't think I forgot about MJ. Chicago colorway right there. Crazy. Well, yeah, so this is the starting five right here. Lakers, Clippers, Lakers again, obviously. Charlotte Hornets and the Chicago Bulls. Obviously, it doesn't have to be for those teams with these color combinations are the ones I decided to go with. So if you want to show your boy love, go cop. Let's go. Pre-orders are going to be available, um, I'm dropping it today, which is the same day that you're watching this video. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in the hat, the support would be much, much appreciated um, during these times, especially because, you know, small business owners like myself um, are being affected in many ways of what's going on. Um, so yeah, if you want to show love, the link is down there in the comments and in the description if you want to make a purchase all right guys so that's gonna wrap up this video i hope you guys enjoyed it once again and you already know the slogan so let's wrap it up to the coziest in the game amen the fashion what is good low-key about to go through right now too but wait till the next video peace